Hello everyone, now let's talk about Metasploit framework. So a Metasploit framework is a tool used for penetration testing, exploit research and exploiting the systems and vulnerabilities in network. So Metasploit framework is an open source tool and it's written in Ruby which means if you know the Ruby language and you know how you can write codes in Ruby then you can contribute to Metasploit framework and Metasploit framework contains more than 1200 exploits 330 plus payloads and 30 plus encoders. So before going further, let's talk about some important terms which we will use in this entire video. So these important terms are vulnerability, exploit and payload. So what is vulnerability? So as I told you earlier that vulnerability is a flow or a weakness in the system which let an attacker to compromise the system. And what's the exploit? So exploit is the code which an attacker use in order to exploit that vulnerability and gets into the system. Now what's the payload? So payload is defined as the activities which one can perform once we are inside a system. Just for example, we found one vulnerability and we've also found one code which we will use in order to exploit that vulnerability. Then once we are inside the system, then what kind of activities we can perform can be defined as the payload which we will use while exploiting the target. So now let's go further. So now let's discuss about Metasploit architecture that how Metasploit framework is organized internally. So here you can see that Metas here are the Metasploit framework modules and here are Metasploit interfaces and here are some libraries. So modules contains different kind of directories which contains payloads, exploits, auxiliary modules, encoders and so on. So what are Metasploit interfaces? I will discuss in upcoming slide and here you can see the Metasploit libraries which contains different Metasploit framework functions like MSF base library, MSF core libraries, plugins and so on. So now let's discuss about Metasploit real life scenario. So what is Metasploit real life scenario? What it means? So it means that how penetration testers use Metasploit in real life scenario or in real in real time in order to penetrate into the systems. So in order to use Metasploit there are three steps. So the first step is we will find open ports, services and their version numbers running on a remote system. So once we found open ports and services running on them then we will try to find the version numbers of that services and once we got the version number what we will do? We will try to find exploit in Metasploit framework database correspond to that version number which we found and if that exploit is present inside the Metasploit framework database then we will use that exploit in order to exploit that system. So this is a Metasploit real life scenario which every penetration tester follows. Now let's discuss about Metasploit interfaces. So Metasploit interfaces are nothing but just a different different ways in order to use Metasploit. So the first interface is Metasploit web. So by using Metasploit web, we can access Metasploit by using browsers like Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox and there is one another interface called as Armitage. So Armitage is an Metasploit framework GUI application which provides a GUI features whereas the last Metasploit interface is command line. So by using command line interface, we can access Metasploit framework through our Kali Linux terminal and in order to use Metasploit framework command line, we have to write MSF console in our Kali Linux terminal. Now let's see how we can use Metasploit by using MSF console. Now let's see that how we can use Metasploit framework through MSF console. So to do that, we have to start our Kali Linux and I have already started my Kali Linux and here you can see my Kali Linux instance and here is the Kali terminal. So in order to start Metasploit framework we have to write here MSF console and here you can see that right now we are inside Metasploit framework shell. Well, I told you earlier that what will be our scenario? Our scenario will be that as a penetration tester, we will first find open ports along with their version number and services. Then once we find the open ports, we have to find a particular exploit correspond to that version number. And if that 
exploit exist in Metasploit framework database, then we'll use that exploit and try to exploit the system. So here you can see that my Metasploitable Linux is up and running and its IP is 192.168.1.106. Now what I'm going to do is I'm scanning the open ports of Metasploitable Linux through Nmap and I'm performing service scan you can see here and let me just write down the IP address of Metasploitable Linux hit enter this will take a little bit time because Metasploitable Linux contains lot of vulnerabilities so that's why more than 10 or 15 ports will be open so that's why Nmap will scan entire ports and will try to fetch all their services and their version number so we have to wait for a time being and here you can see the list of open ports their services and their version number so for the time being let's focus on this port port 21 and service you can just see here FTP and their version is VSFTPD 2.3.4 okay now we got the service services and the version number now let's search a particular exploit in the metasploit framework database of with this name vsftpd 2.3.4 and in order to search any exploit in metasploit framework database we have to just write here search followed by the exploit name or the version name so vsftpd and the version name which is 2.3.4 and hit enter so if the exploit exists in the Metasploit framework directory or the database then we can exploit the system otherwise we cannot exploit the system but as a pen tester if you know how you can make exploit then you can make a particular exploit and can use that exploit okay but here is the already an exploit which is present in the Metasploit framework database you can check its name so in order to use this exploit just write down here use and copy the exploit name so this exploit is inside exploit unix ftp directory and this is the exploit name vsftpd234 backdoor let me use this and here you can also see the disclosure date the rank is excellent and the description hit enter so once you hit enter you will see that you are inside the exploit so once we are inside the exploit the next thing is we have to set our exploit so how we can set our exploit that it will triggers to metasploitable framework so what we can do is we will first find the options we have to give so in order to find that what kind of option this exploit wants just write down show options hit enter so right now there are two options R host and R port which this exploit wants so R port is pre-default set you can just see here 21 all we have to do is we just have to set the R host so what's the R host R host is a remote host so we have to set the IP address of Metasploitable Linux and in order to set R host we have to write down set R host space and IP address so instead of IP address you can also type the domain name so I have set it my R host now let's check the options again and here you can see that my R host is set now all I have to do is I have to write exploit or even you can just write run and hit enter okay now we have exploited the system you can just see here backdoor service has been spawned and found a shell command shell open session 1 now we are inside the shell of metasploitable Linux means 
as a pen tester, we have gained the access of this Metasploitable Linux through Metasploit framework. And you can just check here. If I just write here, who, I, who, who am I? So it will give us the output just below our command. So root, we are root, okay. So let's print out the working directory. Okay, is this. And let's check the file listing. So these are the files and directories which are present inside the Metasploitable Linux. Just for us ensure that whether we are inside a correct shell, let's create a demo directory. So let's create a directory name as demo. Hit enter. Now let's go back to Metasploitable Linux. Let's write here ls and let's see whether our demo directory has been created or not. If I just write ls and here you can see that this is a demo directory which we have just created through Metasploit framework. And if you just want to come back, you can just write exit. So once you exit, your command cell session will be closed. Now, in order to protect your server from Metasploit framework, the best practice is to close the ports and hide their version number that port is not in the use. It's a best practice. So thanks for watching this video.